All right, I am way excited to show you guys this move. Um, this is one of those moments that everything comes full circle for me. Uh, my very first exposure to breaking was watching You Got Served in theaters. And I distinctly remember the final battle scene. I saw Baby Mills for the first time and they blew my mind. And that was 15 years ago and I still remember. Um, I, didn't start breaking and I didn't start breaking until maybe two years after that, but I think that may have been what planted the original seed. And here I am teaching you guys the same move. But before we get into that, um, I'd like to thank everybody. It's been a little bit since I've uploaded a video. I think the last time was May. And this channel's actually grown since then. So thank you to everybody who has stayed subscribed and thank you to everybody who has subscribed since then. Oh, and thank you to everybody who had liked that tap mill video. I said I would make a baby mill video if I got 15 likes on that. And I, I think I have like 50 something now and like a well, thousand views oh my god it's like my most viewed video right now so thank you everybody who has shown support and love and man i appreciate you guys so without further ado let's get to this All right, you guys, so let's get rolling. Our very first step is going to be learning the baby mill variation of the world's best windmill drill. Now, it's one of the prereq moves, and if you don't know it, definitely go check out that video, and I'll put the link in the description. But if you have that down, then this step will be no problem. Now, the world's best windmill drill, right? From here, legs are open, bop, 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 right? So it's gonna be pretty similar, but instead of keeping your legs open, when you get onto your back, you're gonna cross them like a baby mill, and you're gonna see how similar this drill is to doing actual baby mills. So, check this out. So we're gonna set up just like the normal drill, and when you get on your back, cross your legs. Cross your legs. Cross your legs. Cross your legs. And as I said, it's gonna get us used to doing the whole baby mill um, motion. Okay, and again, if you have the world's best windmill drill down, then this step will be no problem. And once you got this down, you're ready to start the move. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty of the move. This step is gonna be pretty similar to when you're learning windmills and how you start in the stab breeze and you try to kick into a backspin, it's gonna be just like that. But except for a baby mill, your hips have to be a little bit higher. So instead of starting with your stab crease like this, I totally recommend to start more here. It's kind of like a high stab crease, okay? Now from here, you're gonna practice the kick first. So just kicking your legs back and forth. And when you're ready, try to drop yourself into a backspin and hit the baby mill position. And you're just gonna do that until you're completely comfortable with it. One more time. You can get into your high stab freeze, wind your legs, and then drop yourself into a backspin and hit that baby freeze position. Okay? I'm going counterclockwise and I'm crossing my left foot over my right foot. Okay? And you're gonna do this until you're completely comfortable with it. Alright, so now we get to start building up our baby mills. And the trick that I used to learn this move, and what I'm about to show you guys, is to build it up by half rotations. So essentially what we have right now is a quarter baby move. So we got into our position, wound our legs, and hit a backspin. That's a quarter. Now we're going to build it up to the half. So basically, after you hit your backspin, you're going to try to pop up back to your front side, just like the baby mill version of the world's best windmill drill. And it's going to look like this. So, you're gonna get into position. And you're gonna wind, cross, pop, pop. Okay? And you're back to your front side. And that's a half baby move. But that's not where you're gonna stop. In that one, in that try, I landed one, two. But what you're gonna wanna do for this move is to land with just one foot with your legs crossed. And it's gonna look like this. 
So once you're comfortable with the one two, you move on to the one foot. So you're gonna get into position, one, in, boom. And you're gonna land with the barrel and with your legs crossed. Okay, one more time. So get into position, one, in, top, barrel, one foot with the legs crossed. And you're gonna do that until it feels completely natural. And then you'll be ready for the next step. Okay, you guys, this is it. This is the moment, one DB move. So as I said, we're building up this move by half rotations. So once you have the half rotation down, it's time to shoot for the one rotation. So you're gonna go from your staff position, one, Hit your baby mill, but instead of landing to the front side, you're gonna try to kick it back onto your back. Okay? And if you have the half baby mill down, uh, this step will be completely natural. Okay? So it's gonna look like this. In your position, one, and just hit your baby mill. Now, if you did it correctly, when you get back onto your back, you'll still have a spin going, you'll still have some rotation. So that's what you wanna aim for. Here, one more time. Get into position. One. One baby. Okay? And the trick is, once you get onto your back, you want a nice pump and shoot. But again, if you have the half rotation down, this shouldn't be too much trouble. And especially if you have the world's best windmill drill down, this shouldn't be that trouble, much trouble at all. So you can just keep practicing that and you'll eventually get it down and you'll be ready for the next step. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on building. We have one baby mill down, so now it's time for one and a half. So after you get back onto your back, you're basically gonna try to shoot for another half rotation. And you're gonna go back to your front side. And it's gonna be just like the world's best swim motor. It's gonna look like this. To get into your position. One thing we want. And then back to this side. And then you can just rinse and repeat that one more time. Into position. One. Not like that. One more time. Into position. One. Boom. And back to your front side. Practice that. All right, you guys, I'm sure by now you are pretty familiar with this process. So as you probably guessed, we're gonna go for two baby mills now. So you're just gonna get into position. Oh, and I'm probably not gonna talk because uh, doing baby mills and talking is very difficult. So just watch. So two baby mills. Get into position. And still, when you reach your back again, you notice I still had some rotation left. One more time. Okay. And that's basically the whole process, you guys. You're basically just going to rinse and repeat until you're very comfortable with the move. And that's about it.
All right, you guys, now the only thing left to do is to learn how to drop them from the top. You can use that process for as many baby mills as you want. You can build them up to two and a half, three, three and a half, four, however you see fit. Personally, once I got three from that position, I just started going for it from the top. Now, it's the only thing uh, when you drop in, you want to maintain a slightly higher angle than you would if you were drop than if you were dropping in for a windmill. But if you've used this process well, you'll probably be able to negotiate it uh, fairly easily. So, from the top, just like regular the windmills, you set up, drop in. And you got your baby mills. And there you have it. That is my baby mill learning process. If you guys dug the video, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. I have a ton more ideas for you guys um, beyond that of just move tutorials so you guys won't want to miss it. Um, and I'll be sure to put up a video updating you guys of where I've been and what I've been doing for the past few months. I think you guys will really like it. Um, I've had some awesome stuff happen to me. And um, yeah, I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, also, follow me on Instagram, at cypher underscore science. I got some cool stuff going on there too. And uh, yeah, until next time you guys, I'll see you around.